you guys there are two flies boom booming on my motorbike <laughs> what a nice surprise <laughs> a nice surprise, a nice surprise. <laughs> are they dead did you guys die are you dead yet Ooh. oh <laughs> yeah. nope We're gonna go to the supermarket. You guys requested that we show you how we pack up our groceries on our motorbike because you guys were amazed that we could carry five watermelons and tons of food um, with just our backpacks and our motorbike. But we're gonna show you how we do it. So let's go to the supermarket. Annie loves going to the supermarket. I do. Yeah. I think there's something called Something that people, what people are, are obsessed with going to the supermarket. I'm, I'm, I'm that person. Yeah, she gets really excited when we go grocery shopping. When I was growing up, I always hated going grocery shopping with my mom. Um, now it's not as bad as it used to be, but I'm not like, oh yeah, let's go to the supermarket. But I do like going to the supermarket in other countries to see what they sell and how much things cost and just the different items. I enjoy that, but on a regular basis, I'm not like, yes, let's go buy groceries. But I like to eat, so that's a good thing. So, motorbikes have trunks. In my trunk, this is uh, Annie's helmet, her oh. extra helmet. This is my... Um, oh, let me, put, let me put the other helmet in mine. Because yeah. then we can make space yeah. for the grocery. Yeah. This yeah. is my um, rain jacket. And it actually is supposedly folded up nicely into here, but it's not. I have something to wipe off my motorbike seat and a jacket. So when I'm driving and maybe like it's really hot or it starts to rain and I just want to put on a jacket, I have that with a hood. So that's what's in my motorbike trunk right now. And I'm going to put Annie's jacket in there. And let's go grocery shopping. It's going to be a challenge to get your bike out there. I know. From I this mean, car, these the car is blocking. Like they want me to hit their bike. <laughs> it's like they turn right behind, but they're pretty much asking to be hit right now. But a good thing is, right, there's some space right there for you to. Um, I can maneuver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I believe in you. Okay, I'm glad somebody. Does. I'm just gonna go stand over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job. <laughs> okay, you guys are lucky today, but don't do this again, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, something I want to show you guys is we both have backpacks. Mm -hmm. And that's like our main thing that we carry to the supermarket. And we also carry two bags that we take with us. And I'll show you that when we're in the grocery store. Well, we live in, we live in the uh, tennis court. It's so nice. One thing you don't know about Charlie is that she can sing randomly too, like me. So I can't sing. we can sing, we don't sound good. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. A quick stop. <laughs> so cute. Move to the other man. <laughs> so I'm here to fill up my gas tank again. I haven't filled up my gas in a long time because I don't really drive as much. I stay in the house. But yeah, we're back to fill up the gas. Diving? <laughs> I can't speak Vietnamese. <laughs> so when I first started driving, I tried carrying Annie, like driving with Annie on the motorbike, and it felt so so heavy and like hard to balance but now that i've been driving for a while it seems so easy it's like it's kind of like riding a bike like you start to wonder how did i ever not know how to do this 
Uh-huh. Don't you feel like that when you drive with me? Yeah. Yeah. In the beginning, it was like, um, because in, in the beginning, you, you don't know how to drive. So mm -hmm. everything that's like heavy, it just feel like you really need to be able to like have dri driven for a long time yeah. to have that experience. Mm -hmm. Because it's all about balance. Yeah. I felt like that. I thought I was never going to be able to drive with you on the motorbike. But now it's like, dang, it's so easy. Dang, did I lose weight? <laughs> no. no. I just got better. Yeah. <laughs> I feel the same way. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, I mean, this is nothing new, but we get a lot of stairs. Yeah. Not only is it because you're a foreigner, but also because of your orange spike. <laughs> Remember where you parked at, number 12, for us? Because this is huge. Remember getting lost or not finding your bike? And I mean, for us, it's the easy. easy. Thing is, <laughs> look at this orange bike. You cannot get lost. But if you have a like a dark colored bike, or like, a like mine, color, like hers is dark blue, it's easy to get lost in here. Yeah. Okay. Did you name your bike already? No. What's a good name for my bike? Orangey. I was thinking orange. Oh really? Orangey. <laughs> orangey. I, it just came up like <laughs> that's funny. That's the exit when you go out. You have to give them the card that they gave you, but it's free to enter. They just give you a card. It's free to park. Yeah. But I think it will cost something if they know if you have parked overnight. Yeah. Yeah, if they notice that you've been parking for like hours and hours. Yeah. Before they give you the car, you keep it. Yeah. Checked in. Yeah. We've never been upstairs, like above the supermarket. So we're gonna see what they have. They have like a game center and everything. This is for you, baby. Yeah, now we know. Go 
coffee and next time we go coffee and play, watch yeah. a movie, come downstairs and get work. <laughs> yeah. That'll be a whole day adventure in um in the Big Sea supermarket. The crazy thing is we've been coming here for like nine months and had no idea that was up there. So just imagine all the places you've been going your whole life that you just didn't go discover like one corner or another floor that you have no idea there's like a whole world up there. You guys, this is heaven right here. Oh, I just stepped on one. Yeah. These are so delicious. I want to swim in them. This is the packaging it comes in. I swear there's like an old Asian lady living inside of me because I like all the like old Asian snacks. Things that like normally young people don't really like. I like things like even this. It's very thick and like weird. But of course I like it. And all of these. Oh, this is durian? Ooh. You know, remember this uh, pastry? We tried it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Copenhagen? Yeah. Where went to a grocery, an Asian grocery store. They have all these little rice cake snacks. <laughs> I like all of those. And I also like this. It has a filling inside. It's delicious. Can't get enough of those. Pretty much this is my section right here. Sale? Yeah. Yay! We have a confession to make. You remember last time we were in the grocery store? We bought six of those fake meat, like fish cakes. We ate six packages in one week. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I feel good. They're actually not really that unhealthy, so it's not bad. Like the ingredients are wheat starch, seaweed, vegetable oil, vegan seasoning, which is salt and pepper. I feel like there's something they're not telling us because there must be more in here. It's so delicious. Yeah. One of the ladies seriously wrapped the watermelon in a plastic bag. Uh -oh. I feel like it's like, why waste so much plastic? Yeah, it wasn't necessary. Yeah. What? They have lotus tea. I've never tried lotus tea. So I'm gonna try this. The big problem that I have with teas is that even though it's like a lotus tea or a jasmine tea, it might still have black tea or green tea in it as like a lower ingredient. But I try to avoid caffeine as much as possible. And sometimes they're like hiding in the teas and then I'm like up all night and wondering why. And then I'm like, oh yeah, my tea has caffeine in it. This is not really lotus tea. It's seriously the ingredients say 100% processed tea what what in the world is that and then natural lotus aroma so it's not even lotus tea it just has the aroma of lotus this noni tea appears to have some type of fish in it the one day we want to show you all the stuff and how we pack it we don't even get a lot of stuff we put the heavy things in our backpacks and then we put light things in this bag. It's like a collapsible bag. You can get these at Target. Occasionally we'll use the plastic bags they give us, but we usually use our own stuff like these and our backpacks. And yes, we bought a lot of junk. <laughs> Today was one of those days. Coconut water break. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Capri Sun. <laughs> mm. Nom nom. basket so we leave our basket there and then we have to go find our bike number 12 yeah number 12 we have our bags our banh mi <laughs> and 
this is the whole parking lot. And there's my bright orange bike. <laughs> you missed me? No. <laughs> Okay, so for packing our motorbike and our bags, we have a strategy. Heavy things usually go, and big things that can fit, we usually put them in the motorbike trunk. My motorbike trunk is actually bigger than hers, so we brought my motorbike today to show you. It's actually really big down there. So first, I need to fold up my raincoat so that it doesn't take up a lot of space. Yeah, we pretty much empty this and fold this up and clear out this to make sure that we have enough space to put everything okay so i got the rain jacket in this little pouch and we're gonna fit everything else in now okay so first we're gonna put in watermelon because that's heavy and we want all the heavy stuff in there you see how that watermelon fits nicely in there we can fit a couple How much can fit in there? Those fall watermelon. Yeah. And then jackfruit. jackfruit. And usually we take Annie's bike, which is smaller. Um, so usually we, when we do that, we put more things in our backpack. We're gonna throw in the carrots. Put it here. And from here, we just take out some things that we have in the bag and we put them in our backpack. And then if we have a lot of stuff and we need to put extra things, there's actually a little hook at the front. Sometimes there's a hook, like Annie has a hook at the front of her bike where we can hook on a bag here. But my hook is here at the front of the seat. So we can hook on a bag here if we need to and keep this in between our feet. But actually this can go in one of our backpacks so we don't need to do that. <laughs> Breath. Go. Can you hold this for me for now? Thank Come you. Oh. have the typical ramen and it's actually not like a better price or anything so but it's cool that they have a place where you can get all the Korean stuff one of my co-teachers he used to love eating these um, shrimp chips oh and I love this aloe aloe drink so good especially when it's cold all of the different sauces they have and then the frozen aisle yeah melona oh is it cheaper yeah it seems like we decided to try different flavors of melona the only one we didn't get is strawberry right yeah this is banana melon which is the typical flavor and it's delicious and mango mm. which one do you want to try first banana okay 
price is like the ice cream is cheaper than yeah. yeah. One of those weird people, I don't like to feel the um oh it's so it's like can you see the um it's not steam. Oh this reminds me of a starburst. The banana, I don't know if it's the yellow starburst. It's a candy. We eat it so differently. How old would you fit into it? I I can't do that. I don't like when people bite into the ice cream. It like hurts my teeth. I like like peach and I actually think it tastes like what I would imagine a bathroom spray to taste like <laughs> now we've moved on to the original it's so good huh like I feel like nothing can beat that flavor it because I didn't end it that day and I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I really appreciate my patrons thank you guys so much for supporting my channel if you'd like to support and help me reach my first goal be sure to click the link in the description box to become a patron on my patreon page also if you're interested in working teaching or living abroad I do Skype chats so if you would like to check in the description box, I have my email for serious people who want to book a Skype chat with me. Check the description box and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. That is so cool. I'd actually rather have that than my motorbike. It's so cute. <laughs>